guys, welcome to the channel. And we're out now playing golf. We're allowed to go out and play. So, first video back, what I've done is gone out and bought myself a GPS. Been using a what would you call it now? A scope finder. Obviously where you, you line it up with a flag so you can see how far away you are from from the green, etc. So what I've done is I've gone out and invested in a Bushnell Phantom GPS. So I've read about them, looked on YouTube, not many reviews of them. So I thought Let's see if I can take my game to the next level and um, see if I can improve it. Now I've had a round yesterday with it as a warm up and it does make a difference. But we're going to go around two or three holes with you today. I'll try and show you what the difference it could make to your game because at the moment they're in very, very good prices on them. So we're on the par four, second hole here at Avro. And according to the flag here, it says 279. But according to this, because obviously it's going that way, not going round. Um, centre of the green is 183. Front of the green, 178. And back of the green is 177. Sorry, 187. But that's not right because it's going to go as a crow flies, but we can't do that because you're not allowed to do that here. So what we're going to do, we're going to tee off, we go straight down the middle, and then we'll do the, t um, the distance between the flag and the ball there, so it gives you a good idea. So we'll just set it all up and we'll see how we go. Right guys, not as uh, straight as I wanted, but it's in the fairway, so we'll go and see what the GPS tells us. Hey guys, so we've teed off, um, as I can see the flag, so according to this, the GPS, we are 117 yards to the centre of the green, 102 to the front, and 128 to the back. So obviously gives you an idea of how much green you've got to go. So if you did over hit it, you can um, you've got a bit of green to play with. And looking at the pin, it's probably just short of the middle of the further green. So normally I use a pitching wedge. Here. So we're going to do that again. I am slightly in the rough, so it might have to be a bit of a harder shot. And there is a pond as well in the front. I'll just show you the pond if you can see it. So let's see if we can get it on the green. We failed. So we failed miserably to get that on the green, but we're now saying we're 35 yards short of the centre and we got over a pond. Let's see if we can get it on the green. Hey guys, we made it on the dance floor, which is good. 
So we'll put this out and then we'll, uh, we'll try and get something on the next hole. On the bush knoll, obviously as well as moves hole to hole with you, so you actually how far away you are, um, you can actually see how far your ball goes. There's a button on it you can press uh, and you walk to your ball and it tells you how far you've hit it, which is good if you don't know uh, how far you're hitting the ball. Um, another good feature with it, sorry about that, is you get the app as well. So it actually gives you a flyover of the course. Because obviously if you're playing a course for the first time, you know what it looks like. You've got a flyover of it on your on your phone if you wanted to. Um, would I recommend you buying it? At the moment, yes. The prices have come down. Uh, I think I've seen it on... I think it was eBay for £85, £89 new, something like that, which is, a, which is a good price, I think. Difference between this and a rangefinder that you hold in this app. Probably, to me, it's easier because the way I've got it in my bag, I've just clipped it onto my bag, um, I can just look at it and go, right, that's what I need. With a rangefinder, you've got to get it out and you've got to look and zap it. Um, obviously most of the sub range finders will have the GPS on the side so you don't need to do that but if you need to know how far away the flag is you can zap it like that. So yeah, um, the other thing I would say is I've clipped it onto my bag here, I was trying to show you. So I've, I've clipped it here. Um, only reason I've clipped it there is at the moment I've got nowhere to clip it. I thought about putting it on top of one of my head covers but I'm a bit concerned about it falling off. And if it falls off it's under a pound down the drain. You probably could get a foam mount or a GPS mount that goes on your trolley. But downside with that is if you're walking away from your bag and somebody's walking through the golf course they could half inch it because it's on view but I don't know how often that happens so we'll buy a couple more holes oh I'll give you another thing as well which I think is good just remembered if you're in some trees obviously your rangefinder your zappy thingy you'll be able to use it because you won't see but with this it can tell you how far away it is to the hole exactly so you can either go over the trees, go under the trees, so you know exactly what it's up to. But that's just different things you could use it for. Right, so we're going to tee off here, and we'll see if we can actually get that to work where we're, we can actually see where we're going. And that might be in the exact position that I just need to give you an example. So let's go have a look. Hi right, guys, didn't quite land where I wanted it to do, but it's had me at 150 to the centre of the green. What I was going to try and show you, if you landed somewhere around right here, if you landed somewhere around right here, obviously you can't see the flag. But then your GPS will come into handy, because it tells you exactly how far away it is. So you wouldn't need to try and get round it. Right guys, just some other features on the, um, the GPS. Um, you get a clip on the back of it, so you can clip it to your bag or to your belt, which is, I suppose it's good if you want to do that, or clip it onto your bag. Um, also, it's magnetic, so if you're in a cart, you can just click it to your golf cart. Um, which I don't know whether that would be whether it's moving or not, but it might do slightly. So it is magnetic, so you can stick it to anything magnetic and it won't move. So that's another good little feature on this. Um, the other thing I would say is it looks cheap, but that's because it's plastic. But I suppose if you drop it, it probably, it probably won't break. Um, it comes in four colours. Uh, red, blue, black and another colour, but I don't know which one it is. 
I'll put it in here, on here in a minute, but I'll stick a picture up of the four colours. So yeah, so on the side of it you've got up, select, down and menu and shot and obviously the power button. It automatically finds which course you're on. Um, you can update it using Bluetooth to your uh, computer, to your phone. Or I suppose if you plug it in. Well, yeah, it does update. You can update it uh, via Bluetooth, which is another good thing. So any courses get updated, it will update your course. And if you spot the errors as well on the course, you can send them details and they will change it, I believe. So would I buy one? Go out, guys. Go and buy one. Worth it. Um, I'm trying to get my call. I'm going to get myself a nice little holder. Hopefully it'll, um, it'll fit in it. And I can leave it on the trolley to see how that goes. But then again, I'm not too sure because if it rains, it's not waterproof, it gets wet. Maybe safer in the bag. I don't know. I'll, I'll come across that anyway. But um, yeah, review of it. Worth it, worth the money um, to me. And I think this would improve your game. Definitely improve your game anyway. As long as you know how yardages you use on each club. This will help you by telling you what club you need and hopefully make more birdies. Um, I'm not the best reviewer in the world, but you know, I give you the option of buying it. You know, it's a little dinky thing. Um, and it works works as it says on the tin, really, just just does the job. Uh, nothing else to really say about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Not the best video I've ever done in the world, but it's a video. And not many people have done reviews of these, which I've seen. Um, so you wouldn't know whether to buy one or not buy it now, whether you want to buy a rangefinder or a GPS. You can do the same with your watch. You get a watch one. It does exactly the same. So if you like to wear a watch, you can buy the watch one, depending on, on your cost, obviously, what you can afford. But these are, at the moment, reduced in price so um, it's up to you what you want to do so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, click on the subscribe button and we'll get another one out as soon as we can um, yeah waffling on now aren't I? never mind right alright guys um, take care and if you're golfing enjoy yourself and make more birdies Ladies.